Hello everyone, back with another LEGO Star Wars video. Today I have a small order I ordered from um, Clone Army Customs. I have two boxes. I believe these both together cost around $170. Um, pretty excited. There's a, a figure in here that I got specifically for a review I want to make um, with a set. Um, but besides of that, I got two pretty cool things I want to show. And also just, to, you know, to show what 170 bucks can get you on that website. Let's have a college tape. Alright, here's the first box. So... With my first order, I ordered four more Galactic Marines and a Commander Fox. Um, the Commander Fox will come in later. Oh yeah, I also ordered a, I believe this is Clone Pilot Hazard, I want to say. Ooh, I don't know, it's one of them. I think it's Hazard. Very good helmet. But just four more Galactic Marines. Uh, I have an, a plan for these guys later on. So I want to get as many as I can. And to get four of them at one time, it can cost 100 bucks. There is a small discount. Probably like a 10 or 20 buck discount. Versus buying all of them at once. I meant versus buying all of them at separate times. And here, let me show you. Just very simple. Very, very nice. As a backpack, back printing, also molded legs, also back printing on the legs and arm printing. Very nice. Definitely still my favorite minifig I'd have to say from Clone Army Customs. Huge fan of the Galactic Marines, always have been, always will be. Okay, let's see Commander Fox without his helmet uh, visor thing. You know, definitely my most hated clone, at least in the Clone Wars. But um, armor-wise, minifig-wise, really like. Very nice. Just a blackhead. Didn't want to spend too much on him. But uh, has very nice arm printing. Has that his box, I guess, or maybe even Coruscant Guard insignia. Can't remember exactly which. This thing on. I guess he just goes on his helmet like, like that. Oh yeah, there you go. That's looking more like him. Oh, popped off. Whoops, it easy. Yeah, put that on later. Okay. So let's get the rest of these guys out of the way. Oh, and it's got a whole bunch of blasters. Um. I don't like the normal Lego Star Wars blasters that come in the sets. I just never have been a big fan. Looks too much like the sequel. No, not sequels. The original movies uh, with like the Stormtrooper blasters. So I just kind of... Why not buy the Clone Wars weapons? Because most of my characters... Well, many things are from the Clone Wars. Let's get this next box open. This one I'm actually the most excited for. Definitely something that's pretty close to my heart, I would say. He's wrapped up in this. We've got this piece of tape. So, what this one entails is Commander Bly, which also has a future project in mind. Commander Bly, we don't really see him much, but he is pretty cool. 
Oh yeah. There's a blackhead too. Also again with the arm printing, leg printing, everything is perfect. Has a really cool small insignia on his arm. It could it looks kind of like pouches. I forget exactly what he looks like fully from the movies in the Clone Wars. We barely see him in both. We really only see him in the movies when he's you know executing Order 66. I think on Felucia. I forget exactly what planet. Nah. I put his his visor on later too. But this right here, this minifig, is the one that's pretty close to my heart. <laughs> um, I grew up watching the Clone Wars, so getting this is pretty cool. I wish I wish Lego made their own, but this right here is really cool. Th this is matchstick. Um, I'm, I'll also be buying tag. Uh, later on, but Matchstick was part of the, I believe, Shadow Squadron from the Clone Wars. And spoilers, um, Matchstick and Tag both die in a pretty funny way. He uh, clips like a, a space whale. I don't remember the name of the creature. <laughs> um, and he eventually later on I think his engine blows up or something due to it. <laughs> and he smashes into his friend Tag and they both die, which is just kind of funny after, uh, I, I can't remember, I can't remember the saying. It's like, if you want something done right with minimum casualties, it's us, the Shadow Squadron or something. And it's just funny to, that they die like that. It's pretty good in the Clone Wars. But yeah. Um, I'm just so excited to have this guy. The helmet's amazing, actually. The helmet doesn't really lock on to the head that well compared to one of these. Like you have to like actually give it some pressure. This one is kind of, but that's okay. Um, he's just gonna be standing there. You know, looking looking amazing. Um, pretty excited that we actually well we don't as in Lego, but us and as in fans can actually get pilot armor that actually has more printing than normal. The pilot armor that we have now is pretty pretty old, but yeah, this guy will be coming in a future video and a future review that has been waiting for him to do that. And let's look at a couple of these blasters. I like the minigun. Who is the uh, clone commander? I think it's Thorn. I, I, I also want to buy because this is kind of like his signature weapon that you see him use in the Clone Wars. Definitely a really cool scene. The bazooka, just normal, you know. Got a couple more commando blasters, just because I think they're the coolest Lego custom weapon out there. I love the commandos. Still got to buy them, just to have them. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Very excited, very, very excited for these guys. And that's all. I'll see you guys again. Bye.